Here is part B of question 1. We will see how to simplify radicals and in this particular case we will apply the distributive property and then simplify. So we have 3 square root 3 minus 5 square root 2 times square root 3 plus 2 square root 2. So we need to multiply and then simplify. Correct? So let's apply the distributive property. So we will get 3 square root 3 times square root 3. Then we will multiply 3 square root 3 by 2 square root 2. So we get plus 3 square root 3 times 2 square root 2. And then we will multiply this binomial by minus 5 square root 2. So we get minus 5 square root. Let me first write 2 times square root 3. We will multiply them later. Then minus times plus is negative. So we get 5 square root 2 times 2 square root 2. Right? Now, square root 3 times square root 3 is 3, so we get 3 times 3 plus, now 3 times 2 is 6, multiply the numbers and then the numbers inside the radicals. 3 times 2 is 6, so we get square root of 6, minus 5, 2 times 3 is 6, in this case square root 2 times square root 2 is 2, so 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, right? So let me first write it as 5 times 2 is 10 and then square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. Then we'll simplify the next step. 3 times 3 is 9 plus we can combine these terms 6 square root 6 minus 5 square root 6 gives us square root 6 and we have minus 20, correct? So we can now write this as 9 minus 20 as 11 with a negative sign plus square root of 6. So that is how we can multiply them and simplify. I hope the steps are clear. Thank you and all the best.